Hello and welcome back to the last play. Where uh, last time I left you guys, I was inside the cave of the druids. And now, next to my sizzling fire, cooking up some salt. Um, originally, I was uh, meant to start the video at the cave. <clears throat> and talk to you guys on the way back, and I did start recording that, unfortunately. I made the mistake of not allotting myself enough time to do the recording, and I had to cut it short. And so, I don't think it's going to work for me to do that. So instead, what I'm going to do is, I am going to talk to you guys from this point, and go forward. Now, we did talk to the druids, and the druids let us know, hey, you gotta do your own thing, hang out for a little while, we're going to talk to you later. And talk to us later means they're probably going to send us another letter. They're going to send us another letter. Sorry, not probably. They will send us another letter. And in the meantime, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be prepping ourselves to do some uh, some iron processing. Now, I don't remember if we are early day or afternoon. I'm going to be honest with you. And unfortunately, I cannot use energy as my guide because I've been drinking a lot of chamomile tea to try to bring up our health after the issues of blight, amongst other things. So, since I cannot remember what it is that's going on, I'm going to try to make myself some Jinx and tea, which I found out in between episodes is definitely what you want to use to, um, to bring up your energy. So if you drink some Jinx and tea, it brings up your energy. You don't uh, feel as uh, tired. And that'll allow me to drink some more chamomile tea. That will also allow me to drink some more spotted red tea. That way I can keep on getting rid of this blight. Now we do have a lovely, lovely coyote that has decided to make his presence known very close to our home. And uh, I feel like making sure that he knows that he's not welcome. Of course, I missed... And he runs away because I'm next to a fire. Okay. Now we do have these two guys. They've been coming in and out here. Um, they're kind of getting on my nerves because they keep coming in, kind of making noise and then leaving again. I have attacked some of them and caused them some damage. Unfortunately, it hasn't exactly done as much damage as I would have liked. Because, you know, that's, that's just how that works. Uh, examine. Oh, no. The, the one that I need is this one. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put our salt in here. Uh, it's not letting me click it in there. This is not in my main hand. Nope, still not letting me click it in there. Not a problem. Go ahead and do this manually. So, that's 100% efficiency. Five hours later, this cooked rabbit is going to be ready to go. But, I don't have any more space for my salt in here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here. That way it's nice and safe. And I did get some more golden seal root. That way we can work on getting myself some stamina teas. And I do want to get one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more of these spotted red mushrooms so I can make more spotted red mushroom tea. Let's see if we can find them here without having my face mauled off by a coyote or a bear or a wolf. There we go. Is that two? That was one. And I'm going to continue grabbing dandelions because salt is going to be way more needed. I'm also going to grab more dog bane. Um, so the plan today is, once I get asleep, to go out... And, okay, so it is nighttime. To go out and go visit the caves that I've marked around the map. And try to get some loose iron so that we can process more iron. <clears throat> and the way that we're going to do that is, getting loose iron means I can make some... I don't want a red cap mushroom. There we go. I know I grabbed the red cap mushroom, I just don't know where it is. Anyway, um, that's going to let us make a pickaxe, which is going to allow us to get more iron from the actual rocks and some other materials that we're going to need. Man, oh, there we go. So, let me go back. I'm going to make my red spotted tea. Oops, sorry. Make some red spotted tea and get rid of some more of this blight, go to sleep, 
and hopefully be ready to go tomorrow. I'm also going to try to plant some of that golden seal to see if I can actually make it work. Now, of course, for teas, you need water, which you are starting to... Oh, there's a bear. Which, I have one hour left. I'm going to have to make sure that I uh, top off that fire. Seven and eight. We are going to need some salt and some ginseng root. It's perfect. Nope, oh, sorry, wrong button. Salt and ginseng. There we go. Hearty. Does the direction? I've never seen it say. Okay, whatever. Never mind. Maybe I hadn't noticed that instead of Hardy. Alright, now we want to further extend our fire. Watch out for these bears. This. Oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stoke my fire, go to bed, and then I will see you guys in the morning with some stews and stuff to work on. That way we can go out and get some more iron. We also do need to make more, more bricks and we need to make more uh, mud mortar. That'll be something that I will do in the meantime until I wake up and we go out to the caves. See you in a bit. Alrighty, and we have woken up to a nice, bright, sunny day. We have one hour left of fire. Of left of fire. But we do have a bear making his way over here, which is a bit unfortunate. Pieces of jerky have not yet expired. This bear is going to be an issue if he keeps hanging around here. Let's see if I can scare him off without him attacking me. Alright, there we go. So, we'll kind of skedaddle for a little a bit. He might come back, unfortunately. So, Remember, if you leave any food or any salt, he will come and come after it. Fortunately, garlic cloves are considered, or garlic bulbs are considered food, so keep that in mind. Let's see what we got. Oops, sorry. Wrong thing to hit. So this is preserved. 100% preserved. I'm going to keep it in here anyway. Um, just because this guy's going to be very, uh, very touchy about our food. So I'm going to keep it with me, even while we go out on the hunt for salt. <clears throat> now, something to note. For finishing out our hearth furnace that we do need, we need to make bellows. Now bellows, not that hard of a material to make. It needs short planks, some leather, and some nails. We have all that stuff. But the problem with this uh, specific set of um, crafting is that it needs a workbench. And we have not made a workbench yet. So, let's look at workbench. Excuse me. The workbench needs six short planks, 12 long planks, and 20 nails. I do think I have that already. So we should, oh, of course it's raining. We should be able to make that happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this fuel here just to keep the fire going for a little longer. I'm gonna boil some water and I'm going to, that is not what I meant to do. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and get the materials together to make this workbench. And I do want to make this workbench inside our covered area. Because you can put your tools inside the workbench. But if it's underneath uh, and it can get wet, it's going to cause you issues with uh, rusted tools. So we want to keep it under the cover of our, our roof, as it were. 
So we need short planks, long planks, and 20 nails. Uh, I think I have enough for nails. Let me see. Yep. So there's 10, and there's 20. And then I did forget that I have a bunch of camel meal and more jinx in here. There's 20 nails. We needed long planks, short planks. Let's go ahead and grab these short planks. And build with bench, workbench, here it is. This is there. And we need two more short planks and 12 long planks. So we might actually have to go after some, some more planks here. Okay. Oh yeah, we definitely need more planks. Which means cutting down more trees. So that's going to be uh, fun. Alrighty. So, which tree do I want to cut next? I wanted to keep that tree. Unfortunately, my steel hatchet is kind of looking a little worse for wear. There is my piece of sandstone. There it is. Let's go ahead and repair that. It's going to be all the way down here. I guess I can repair that too. Um, we're also going to be on the lookout for sandstone pile and marking it. That way I can make the next sharpening tool, which is the grinding wheel. We need a large piece of sandstone for that. Let's go ahead and put this back in there. And of course, I don't need to... Look at that. Young ginseng. Growing. Five days left. So, very soon I'm going to have plenty of garlic and some ginseng. It does take quite a while, even with fertilizer, which kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do? Alright, let's go cut a tree down. You know, I'm going to cut this tree down. And then I'm going to saw it. You know, you keep hanging around, I'm going to make you to dinner. There goes the tree. Uh, I don't know if I've said this before, but don't stand under the tree when it's falling. It will kill you. Let's do another thing where I can't get to the point it wants to chop. Oh wait, no, I'm not chopping. That's right. I am. Oh no, because I touched it with the axe. I can't, you know, oh man. Well, good to know. If you touch a tree with the axe and you try chopping it, it will not let you use your saw. So, oh, my guy is dead over here. Let's see if I can plant these golden roots while my guy catches his breath. Yes, they can be planted. Nice. Okay. Well, let's plant them um, up here. Wonder how long they take to uh to grow. Went. Went. something that I hadn't thought about is, if I remember correctly, this only gives me one golden root back. Or you only get one one golden seal root. Hmm. Is this is going to work. But, but to find out. Growing two weeks. It is in damp ground. This is just rained. Go ahead and grab our bone meal. I have plenty, so I'm just going to go ahead and load it up with fertilizer. One week left. So that's the first one. Second one. Third one. And
There we go. Okay. Cool. Um, something I keep forgetting to check is whether or not um, spoiled meat works as a fertilizer. Alright, so he's not exhausted anymore. Go ahead and keep on chopping. Yeah, because my tool's not doing so hot, its condition is bad, it's worn, um, chopping this tree has become way, way, way more of a chore. So, keep that in mind. I'm gonna saw this tree. And we got a decent amount of planks. Let's go ahead and do the crazy thing of just letting our guy pick up everything he finds. This it makes my life easier. I'm gonna throw a random twig over there. Let's put what I have in here. So I need two more long planks. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Yeah. Grab this while I'm here. Might as well. And, oh, by the way, you can plant more than just these guys. You can plant mushrooms. And you can grab um, the, like, chamomile plants and the blueberries. And you can also move those around. So if that's something you want to do and to get involved, to move the chamomile plants and the blueberry trees, you need a shovel. It's important to note. Which, if you go to craft, shovel, you just need nails, planks, and that gives you a shovel. Which I'm probably going to do soon. Uh, there, As far as I know, there's no metal shovel. It's just a wooden one, so it, it will break very quickly. Unfortunately. Let's go ahead and saw the last bit of this. Which some of the materials are unfortunately going to end up in the water. Now, normally you do this with a hammer. I don't have a hammer, so we're having to do it with a rock. You know how that goes. Rock is eventually going to get busted, so keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these rocks. Put a rock in my hand and go to town. And that stone fell apart almost immediately. That's unfortunate. Come on, you're almost done. Oh. Don't know why he doesn't... Uh... Oh, it's because he was tired. All right, there we go. So now we have our workbench. I can store my handsaw here. I can actually store all my tools here if I wanted to, and they will be used for what needs to be used in the, um, in the bench. Hey, look, it's a coyote. Surprise, surprise. Said no one ever. And. Wow. Well, not a lot of water there, is there? But now that we have this, I can grab the materials to make the. Sorry. To make the, uh, the bellows. have somewhere you stockpile of long sticks. Have I never had the... Oh no, here they are. Short sticks, which I think might be nearly full by now. Wow, oh, it's not, apparently. Good to know. Okay. And let me get the materials for the bellows. It requires three of these, some rope, 
sorry, some planks and some nails. Did I use my nails by accident? No, they're in here. And I believe it was two short planks. Which are here. Let's check it. Uh, search. Oh, it needs four. Okay, so I need to grab one more of these planks. And now that the saw is in here, you right click, it will work off the table, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it actually makes it any faster. I'm going to be honest. But. Open crafting menu. There we go. We'll be taking these guys with me, because if not, I'm not going to have any other weapon. Here's our bellows. Apparently they're very, very large. We can add them to our hearth furnace, and now we can build the hearth furnace. So, now we have our bloom ring. It's going to take iron ore in there, process it into a bloom, and then we can smash the bloom to create some iron. And then once we have iron, we can turn use this hearth furnace to turn it into steel. But to do that, we need to go get iron. So let's go do that. Go ahead and put these in here. Let's fill up this jug real quick. Leave some water boiling. And of course, like always, we're going to leave everything ready for me to start that fire as soon as I'm home. So I'm not cutting everything, everything out, just because I also want people to see like the time investment. Um, if you're not, if you're somebody that's picking up the game, right, maybe watching this, trying to determine whether or not you should play the game, I think that the time investment is also something that you should be aware of. If you're not aware of it, I feel like maybe you're being misled. So there is quite a bit of time investment and I've cut some of it out already. So, you know, just, just as an FYI, it's, it's more time investment than what it appears. All right, let's cut this here. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Just hanging out on our land. Yeah, I do have to make fences. As soon as I have steel tools, I'm gonna build a, build a fence around the perimeter of our land. Because man, these guys love coming out here to bother me. The bears, the coyotes, everybody. Go ahead and, oh, can't because there's enemies nearby. I am not going to detail them with that crap. Get out. Get out. All right. Now I can equip my axe, chop it up, get everything ready. But yeah, so um, just as an FYI, so I found some caves. So there's a cave here, there's a cave here, there's a cave here. You can find iron deposits on top of the surface. You are much more likely to find iron deposits inside caves. Um, keep that in mind. Now, another thing that I forgot to do is, let me see if I can make that a torch. Can I make torch with animal fat? I think I have some animal fat left, so we'll be able to make that happen. So rope, stick, and animal fat. We'll grab one and two. A singular stick. Man, these guys are back. I like getting killed. All right, let's go ahead and craft with and a torch. A torch. I don't remember. Yeah, you have to ignite another fire source, which is kind of unfortunate when you really think about it. Because that means that um, 
can't just carry a lit torch with me. As soon as you put it in here, it snuffs out. Maybe we'll have a lantern we can make later on, you know, with a candle inside. Or we can hook up to our belt or something. That would be kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to be taking the cart. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be taking the cart. I am going to be taking this backpack. And do I have any more chamomile tea left? I do. Let's fill an empty water skin. We have some chamomile tea. And I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and drink my fill of water. Actually, not drink my fill of water, just in case I need to drink some more. And we're going to fill another empty water skin. Alright. So, I'm going to leave that water boiling. And did I ever cut... Oh no, I right clicked at it on, didn't I? I was not paying attention. That's unfortunate. Oh, let's pick up the backpack. The first cave is not very far. I don't need that much iron, so it shouldn't be too crazy. We'll have it with this bowl. something. I want to try something here. Ignite. Can I put it on my belt? No, I cannot. It must be in my offhand. That's unfortunate. I believe that when I hang on to this as well, it also messes with my offhand. Let's see. I know. It doesn't. Does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, I guess we're taking the cart then. <laughs> so we are going south to get to our cave. And I will make my way over there, and I will see you as soon as I'm there. Alrighty, and we are here. Now, I don't have the wheelbarrow me with me. I decided to leave it behind. I have quite a bit of space. We're doing an exploratory thing, so it's not like I need a lot of space uh, to carry stuff. So I decided to just uh, not 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 bring that load with me because it was taking me quite some time, and I wanted to keep my torch lit because it makes exploring this. Oh man! Well, that sucks. <sighs> That's unfortunate. This cave is not going to work. I'll take the spotted mushrooms, though. Yeah, there's no way for me to come back from that. Um, some of the cave generation is a little funky, unfortunately. Hopefully that's something that is fixed soon. Are we able to make um, like rope ladders? That sucks. Well, we do have another cave further south that we can explore. But let's go ahead and no, no. We're gonna erase that. We're gonna put cave bed it. No, that sucks. Unfortunate. Yep, sometimes you'll come across those. It kind of sucks. There's no way for you to come back from them, so it's really not a good idea to try going down there. Um, you can walk in there still without a light, and sometimes you will be able to kind of make it work. But honestly, it can be a little dangerous. So I decided not to do that. I'm glad I did, because knowing me, I probably would have walked off the edge completely by accident. So I want to make my way to the other cave. And I'll see you guys there. All right, we made it to the other cave. Wish me luck. Huh. So right hand rule, go right first. 
Don't know if I can get through there. So you go back, go right. Stones going right. Dead end. It's unfortunate. Milgar deposit. That's that's from yeah, that's right, that's from the 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 update. And getting a little comp. Hey, there we go. Some iron ore. Some dry bones. Um deep you go. Oh man. It's a whole underground water system here. Oh, can't go there. Spotted red mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. More spotted red mushrooms. And more, more spotted red mushrooms. And this cave is really bort. There's water down there. What happened? The, the caves that I was finding before the uh, the game released were much better. I don't know if he uh, altered something, but uh, these caves are not great. Pretty sure that's gonna put me underwater. So I'm gonna make my way back. Fortunate. Not as much iron as I would have liked to have found. Which, um. That kind of sucks. Kind of a swing and a miss situation here. A dried human skull. Oh no, someone has died here. By the way, I keep picking up stuff because if I don't. Um. I don't find anything to take back with me. Yeah, it's the original right hand. If I don't find enough, I can at least bring something back. We're gonna go ahead and try this last cave out here. And then, unfortunately, we'll be heading back. So, cave system wasn't that great. Right, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, here we are. Getting to this one was kind of a bit of a pain in the butt. It's in a weird spot in the mountain. Come on, iron ore. Oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it was in a weird spot of the mountain, so trying to get up here was kind of a chore. A depressed cap, cap mushroom underneath that iron ore. Hey, we got some copper down here. Water stones, but no. Iron ore. Nope, more iron ore. A lot of copper in here, which is, I guess, nice. I'm gonna grab two of these rocks real quick. Not as much as I would have liked, but something is better than nothing. And my torch is running out very quickly. So. And snuff it. That was a terrifying sound that those guys just made. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay then. We're just out of uh, sync enough to sound very, very terrifying. I don't think I'm gonna find another torch around here. I have probably, I think I looked at one point and I did not find another one. Um, that doesn't mean that there isn't one for sure. It just means that I probably missed it.
Yeah, nothing. So, well, I'm gonna grab these dandelions. Is there in the way? And I can, I guess, mark the sandstone rock. Although there's probably one that's way closer. Sandstone. Prep. Let's go grab this chamomile. Oh. Okay, you stay over there. I'm sorry. I will not try to take your uh, chamomile. Apparently you're very defensive of it. Or you're sorry, you dandelion. It's his favorite dandelions, okay? You, you don't don't go after his favorite dandelions. That's that's rude. Now, I'm going to grab some of this. I have not found any use for this stuff. Maybe I can make something out of it. Maybe something has changed in the update. I'm working with information pre-update, so who knows? Might be incorrect. Uh, according to me, of the past, there is some iron somewhere on the surface out here. Let's go look for it. Look at all that damned line. Go down without the stick. Where is the stick? You know, I grabbed the stick. I just saw, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's a mess. Well, I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Which says drink one, because the tooltip is messed up. And then I'm going to drink some of my water. No. Stuff. Something I just thought about. I lost some of my salt when I went into that water with this. So even though it has a lid, I'm still losing salt to water. We should probably test that one more back. That's I don't know if that's intended or not. But yeah, we should probably test that. Because if it's supposed to be... ...tight enough not to allow evaporation... ...it should probably be tight enough to preserve... ...or to keep water out. I would think. Maybe I'm wrong. Still not. According to me, should be coming up on this iron soon. And probably like 20 wolves and 30 bears. Uh, what iron ore? No, not enough space. Okay, we, we can we can make some space here. That's a bear. Holds wet iron ore, so you know it's special. Right. So, good to know. That's probably something we should test. And that might be why I kept this having salt disappear. I'm like, why is my salt just being used? What's going on? It might be just because I was letting it get wet. And that was causing the problems. So... That might be intended, or it might be a bug. I am unsure. Can't climb this, apparently. So... I'm running like a crazy person through this, and I probably shouldn't be doing that, because it might get me killed. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. Alright, we're back. And the crow was stuck up against the wall, so he has dropped us off some more stuff. You can hear him kind of calling away. He, uh, he had some issues.
should grab these uh, spears that we left behind. Yeah, he's. Uh, wonder if I can kill the crow. All right, let's see this letter here. So we'll read it. Slime itself is very infectious, but distilling it seems to produce an essence that can be beneficial in countering the blight. We have uncovered two possible uses for this substance. Combine toxic oleander leaves with distilled slime oil and set it ablaze. This can clear up blight in a small area, but won't be able to cleanse larger infections at nearby villages. Mix slime oil with vinegar to create a primitive disinfectant for food. Submerge infected food in this liquid to remove some of the infection. Further, we think certain crystals could be combined in an alchemical process to further refine beneficial effects from the slime and light. We would be grateful if you could source yeah, Rilgar in blue vitriol crystals from further experimentation. Blue vitriol can sometimes be found within copper-rich rock, and Rilgar veins appear underground within caves. So we've seen the Rilgar. We have not seen the vitriol because we have not mined any of the copper yet. But I am going to uh, keep this paper on the ground just in case I forget any information. I shouldn't, but, you know, my brain is dumb. So just in case. And let's go ahead and put these guys in here to dry. Uh, can we dry this? Nope. Can I be put in here? Nope. Uh, I do have the space to do that. Let us empty. And I will drink the rest. Sweet. Out here. Alright. Cooking surface needed. So you can make roasted milk thistle seeds. And that makes you less susceptible to blight. This is something I did not try in the first run that I did by myself before the game released. So that's pretty cool. That's basically anti-blight. I'm going to go ahead and cook that up while I set up everything else away. And I will be back once I'm ready to show you guys how to do the bloomery. So, see you in a bit. Alrighty. So, we are back with the uh, sound of boiling in our backs. We're going to grab our iron ore really quick. And we're going to toss it in the bloomery. Hey, two. We got eight pieces. Eight pieces is what it fits. Now, you're going to notice it requires 1100C and it requires 53 minutes. I'm going to put that in there. We're getting an hour and 23 minutes. That gives us an hour. That gives us 50 minutes. So Now, we have to do the same thing that we did with the um, crucible in, in the sense that we have to be here to actually click on the smelt button. I don't know why. I don't know that, why they can't just smelt when it gets to the right temperature, but they can't. So. Make sure that you're here when you turn this on. Do not walk away because then you won't hit smell and the things won't process and you have wasted your car charcoal. Ask me how I know. So we are going to grab the materials we need to start this, start this fire. That was dumb. I meant to grab one I grabbed all of them. Grab that and grab that. And we still have flint in our pockets. So we're gonna do that and ignite. I'm gonna wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And there we go. Now it takes 53 minutes. This has an hour left. So we kind of got a bit of a gauge as to when they're gonna uh, be finished. Now, <clears throat> if this is not enough of a gauge, the other gauge is gonna be the fact that when this is hot, it's gonna literally pop out everywhere on the floor. So you're gonna know. Now you're gonna notice that I grabbed all my small stones. And the reason why I grabbed all my small stones is I'm going to beat the blooms when they come up i'm going to beat them on the stump that's going to allow me to <clears throat> excuse me to process the blooms into something usable so that's why i built these guys next to a stump anyway that's going to work for a little bit while that's working i'm going to work on a couple other things like for example i'm going to get this clay jar full of chamomile tea oh no sorry i'm going to do that and put its lid back on and then i'm going to place this on the ground and actively while we're all here together, I'm going to test this salt hypothesis here real quick. So there should be some salt around here somewhere. I'm going to take, no, I'm going to take one piece of salt. I'm going to put it in here, and then we're going to walk into the water and see what happens to the salt. If the salt dissolves, then uh, we know that if this can gets wet, it's going to still let the water, the salt dissolve. So one, still one, still one. Come on, come on. Yep, it dissolves. So uh. 
case in point as of this patch which this patch is or as of this version of the game which is 10 15 2024 i don't know what the version number is uh can i see the version number anywhere nope but anyway as of 10 14 2024 10 15 2024 that's october 15th of 2024 uh if you leave salt in a jar and you walk into the water it dissolves so yeah don't know if that's intended let's say it's intended just in case uh, so yeah, don't don't walk into you into water with jars full of uh, important materials. So we made camel melty. We did bring back a crap ton of the um, what do you call it? Of the spotted mushrooms. Let me see here. We still got forty three minutes left. So I'm going to try to make more spotted mushroom tea, and I'm going to show you that you actually cannot do that in here the way you would like. So I'm going to grab a bunch of mushrooms. You have to do it in batches as much as I would like to just be like, hey, just dump all these in there and you will be fine. And unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You need the salt, which means I'm going to need to go get more, more stuff to make more salt. That's unfortunate. I took all my salt and dissolved it all because I'm a dummy. Uh, no, nope, that's not what I wanted. And if this is it. Yep. Okay. So, I would like to take this jar, fill it with water, and then make a crap ton of red tea. But, this thing only stacks to 10. And the problem is, when you go to make this, He's up. <clears throat> when you go to try to use these, it will always come out watery. Um, and it's going to tell you not enough spotted red mushroom caps. So unfortunately, this is too much water to make this a thing. And as far as I know, there's still no way to precisely grade how much water is in here. So we're going to go ahead and empty that out into there. And we'll do batches with the small bowl. Oh wait, uh, put this get back on. Okay. What are we looking here? Yeah, 24 minutes or 12 minutes. That should be enough time to start us on a small batch. Uh, if I put the water in there. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Hey. Did I not? Actually, I should try something. Can I do this? Build. Playable. I can. Not that that's useful, but I can. Eight. Oops, sorry. 50, 60, 75. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 80. And... There you go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my rock in my hand. Get ready, because very soon all these guys are gonna pop up on the floor. Unless he's changed that, which I don't know if he has. Twelve. And there they are. I'm gonna go pick them all up. I'm gonna come here, and we are going to do this right here. Separate. And just do it for all of them. Lost stuff in a part, that's fine. And these guys are losing temperature as I'm doing this. So sometimes you can get to the last one, other times you cannot. And this was one of the times where I was not able to get to the last iron bloom before it lost all its temperature. So these are slowly losing temperature, that's what the percentage was. But out of all of that, we got raw iron chucks. Now raw iron chucks can be turned into stuff. Um, I don't know, do I have? And you can't put those back in there. So, but we can put them in here, and that's where you heat stuff up. Um, I've tried before to put them in the fire, but it won't. Let. Hey, it won't. Okay. Uh, maybe that's something you changed because before you couldn't do that. That makes things way, way, way easier. Cool. Yeah, well, I guess I don't have to fire up the hearthstone or the hearth for that. Where is the. Nope. 
uh, craft. There we go. Nice. So now I have a bunch of other pieces here of raw iron. Let's talk about raw iron. What can you make with iron? Make bars. You can make structural bars. You can make nails. I have not found a reason to use these versus uh, the bronze nails. Bronze nails are way cheaper. <clears throat> but you can break down bars into raw iron chunks. That's kind of the way to store them, if I remember correctly. So four to one and then one to four. Let me see. Just to make sure. Yeah, four to one, one to four. Okay. But what we actually want to make is forge new mild steel. This is what we want. These are where our weapons are going to be. This is where, for example, our hammer will be, which requires four. This is where our pickaxe will be, which requires ten. That is quite unfortunate, because we only have eight. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be kind of cheeky, and because I'm still going to have to go out and get some more, I'm just going to make a steel hammerhead. And the reason I want to make a steel hammerhead is because that way I can do things without breaking my... Um, a bunch of rocks. Although, maybe I can save it to try to get two more iron chunks. Hmm. Damn. That sucks. Oh, man. Ooh. But to uh, process this into mild steel, you're going to have to put it in the hearth furnace with charcoal fuel. It's going to need to get a little bit hotter. That little bit of heat comes from the bellows, and that will turn it into mild steel chunks after some time. And it's going to smelt just the way you were using the crucible smelter and just the way you were using the bloomery. Keep that in mind. And then when you go to work it out here, it has to have some temperature. So we also do get a bunch of slag. As far as I know, there's no use for slag as of right now. So there you go. Bunch of product you uh, w wasted wasted product you don't want. You know. It's like the real life. So I'm just going to make a stockpile here. Uh, pebbles. Nothing to do with pebbles either. So just kind of drop them on the ground. So, yeah. And uh, the first tools I would always suggest you get with your mild steel is a pickaxe. That way you can go back and get the big iron chunks and a hammer. That way you can break the chunks and you can uh, do hammer stuff. Once you got that, make yourself a steel chisel. That will allow you to chisel out the sandstone that you need to make. Um, where is it? Build. It's called a wheel. Grinding wheel. You need this grind, this piece right here. You need a large sandstone chunk and you're going to process it and the only way to do that is inside the workbench with a um, stone what do you call it the stone strength chisel which if you know anything about stone sandstone is not or a uh, stone chisel is not going to be enough Rainy wheel stone strength chisel so, and that'll be a steel chisel, is the way to make that happen. All right. Anyway, let me grab this here. And we're going to pour it out into an empty jar. And we'll make some more. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the cave experience, and that's how you process the... Uh, iron ore into raw iron. Eventually, I would like to make some steel, but that's going to have to happen tomorrow. Or, sorry, in the next video. Because we have reached 54 minutes, and it's taken quite a bit of time. So, for the next one, I will have some more uh, iron to work into blooms, and then into mild steel, and then into some very nice steel tools. So, until next time, I will see y'all later.